All right. Uh, today I just got I just got done uh, doing the fuel lines on this trimmer here. I didn't do both of them. I just did the the new clear one that's there, the intake uh, fuel line, not the return line. But um, yeah, I this is the same trimmer that I changed the oil on a few weeks ago, or not a few weeks ago, a few months ago. It was uh, about, I think it was Feb, no, um, April 10th, but I just, you know, I did the oil on it. There's a video of it. And I just did the fuel lines on this one and replaced the fuel filter. So I'm gonna start it up now as I just got done putting fuel in it. And you guys are gonna see how well this one runs. So. See how it goes. See if that works all right. Prime the crap out of these. It's impossible to flood them, so that's good. I think that's enough. I would hope. No leaks anywhere. This is a model with the choke. I'm not used to the choke models as I've never owned one before. And now I'm not surprised. Screw text messages. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if this engine is oil locked. I actually don't think it is. Um, but it's got it had oil in the cylinder, so it'll probably shoot out some some blue smoke, so be sure to get that. Here we go. I don't think we give this throttle. Do I? Squeeze trigger. Huh. Alright then. Oh jeez. Is it supposed to die? I don't think so. Apparently not. Nope, leaned it out. It does seem to run pretty good, although it is on 
the half choke. So as soon as I lean it out and take it off of the full choke or the half choke, I think it's just gonna die. So unfortunately that is not good. Let's see what happens. Not much of a difference. What happens when I give it throttle? got a little bit of a stall or a little bit of a delay in the throttle. See that? It does die too. It's not overheating either. It's just freaking oil and crap that's inside of it. But otherwise it's fine. So, um, yeah, thanks for thanks for watching this one guys and uh check in with my videos some other time. Thanks for watching.